China's manufacturing dominance remains tightly bound to Africa's struggle for clean, reliable energy. And while the continent holds the raw materials needed to power the renewable revolution, and these include tin, copper, and silicon, it lacks the industrial muscle to compete with China's vast manufacturing base. Take We Sola, a renewable energy farm operating in South Africa and Nigeria. Founded in 2016 as an inverter manufacturer, the company once dreamed of making its products locally. But high costs, limited financing, and weak industrial support pushed production to China, where there is efficiency and scale. Africa's solar potential is enormous. Its minerals are the building blocks of renewable energy. Yet, despite these natural advantages, the continent's factories still struggle to compete with China's speed, precision, and low-cost production. There are, however, signs of change. Projects like South Africa's 300-megawatt Seraphim solar panel plant, operated by China's Jiangsu Seraphim solar system, shows that African countries can capture a foothold in the solar value chain. Some panels made here are even exported to the United States. But experts say the goal isn't to compete directly with China. At least not yet. Dr. Isian Soon from the University of Bath argues that if African governments create stable, attractive investment conditions, Chinese farms could localize part of their production. I think the idea is not really to, to try and to have a new industry that directly competes with Chinese industry. Because if you talk to these Chinese manufacturers, you know it's very cost effective to produce in China. Uh, but at the same time, I think if they want to assess risks and the benefits, right? So I think if there are some benefits for for Chinese companies to invest locally, and then if you have some attractive uh, policies to some some good deals that can make with the host government. I think there is a strong incentive for them to explore new markets. Um, but from the beginning, it's also to think about where you can have for each country on the value chain. Rather than starting from a scratch, African nations could focus on assembling parts or creating specialized products for local markets, much like Pakistan, where small solar panels are made domestically for households. These niche products could help Africa find its own place in the global solar supply chain, not in competition, but in collaboration. Analysts like Mu Yi Yang from the energy think tank Ember believe that a few regional hubs could soon emerge to serve the entire continent, sharing expertise, equipment, and skills. Just look at the conventional energy equipment manufacturing sector. We don't have the full complete supply chain of conventional energy equipment sector in all countries. So the, there are a few manufacturing hubs uh, around the world, and probably there will be a few manufacturing hubs for clean technology in, so, uh, in Africa. And uh, those a few hubs will provide equipment and facilities to the whole continent. I think that could be a more realistic scenario. And uh, I don't think it, it, it all, all African countries would have its own complete supply chain of clean technology sectors. I think that won't be possible. And even where manufacturing isn't viable, Africa can still gain valuable know-how through installation, operation, and maintenance. Even though you are just some countries may just import clean equipment and do the installation, and still there will be something we call the technological spillover. Because you 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 need local staff to understand the technology to do the maintenance and do to do the operation and to import solar and you you need the services and it will also drive interconnected sector. In the end. Africa's path to solar self-reliance would depend on more than raw materials. It will require vision, strong policies, and a willingness to partnerships with China into opportunities for lasting industrial growth. What do you think? Please share in the comments below and let us know what you think of how soon African countries can start manufacturing 
solar panels and what is needed to make this a possibility is what these experts saying the truth for african countries but where can they tap into that solar panel value chain my name is njenga hakina see you again soon <music>